Connor, thank you for joining me. Let's quickly recap on Tuesday night, a one-all draw at home against third place Bromley. Another resilient performance and the point that took us up to 80 points, which was our target for this season. Yeah, um, it felt like a playoff game. Um, you could feel that within the first few minutes there was an intensity to it. Uh, I think both sides gave a good account of themselves. Pretty even contested game. Um, and I thought, to be fair, a point was probably fair in the night. Um, when, you, when you think they, they probably slightly edged on chances, but if you factor in what looked like a stonewall penalty, and when you watch it back, it confirms that it was a stonewall penalty on Idris at the start of the second half. They did pretty balances out. But at least we were positive. We, we obviously had to keep them at arm's length, which is what we managed to do. It was probably more pressure on them to win the game than us. So we're, we're, we're pleased with the point and the performance. We know Bromley are a well drilled, big physical side. On the whole, did the game go the way you expected? Is we, we, there's no there's no secret how they play as you said um, they have a lot of athleticism in midfield with Crowhouse and Whiteley and their wing backs as well are very athletic with with the uh, with the two lads so we knew it was going to be a tough test they um, they played exactly how we thought they were cheeks of powerhouse up top and had runners beyond them and it's what a lot of teams try and do against us so we knew what to expect we, we always know what to expect we're obviously well drilled on what we do with our prep in terms of opposition but the game was always going to be tough listen it's one down where you can feel the pressure in the ground you can feel it within the performances of both teams and. You can see the, the the little bit of adrenaline and obviously pressure and nervousness within attacks and some of the lack of quality around the box for both teams kind of show when you think of the nervousness of it. But in that respect, it's a good test run for how the playoffs are going to feel. So, listen, it's positive. We didn't lose the game. It was important. We kept my arm length, as I said. So it's a, it's a positive point and another point to our, uh, towards our tally. A first start in a while for Idris Karnu and a goal to boot. How pleasing is it to have him back and posing a real threat to opposition teams? We've missed him massively. Um, without him in the team where we haven't got that same ball carrying within the within the group so when he plays he can if you're under pressure he can run you from the edge of your own box to the edge of their box um, pretty quick so it's a, it's a massive massive plus for us to have him back he was outstanding on the night obviously it's going to happen he blew up he was tired um, there was no injury or anything he was just tired obviously with a lot going on obviously personal life as well with, the, with a newborn kid and um, Ramadan and all the other stuff that's going on so he done brilliant to get through what he done and the quality of what he, what he showed he was excellent on the night so we're so pleased to have him back and we'll keep building up his minutes and when he feels obviously fitter and fitter it's a, only an added bonus for the group Great work from Callum Stead with the assist and Jordan Cropper's long throw from deep in our own half a well orchestrated goal to be fair Yeah listen football's crazy and for all the phases we had and all the possession we had around that box and we got into great positions obviously Gormo hits the post with a brilliant move as well um, Freeman got in some lovely positions with some great play and for that you throw the ball down the outside Nicky does brilliant to, to hold up the centre half and to be fair to Steady he does what he does he's a pest so he gets onto it and he runs Webster on the outside and does brilliant to square to Idris so it's an excellent goal um, there's a lot we've got to be fair to us we're good at mixing it up we score lots of different goals I think that's a massive positive you can see we've, we've obviously been the second highest scoring team in the division um, it shows that we're pretty capable of mixing up and scoring different goals on to Halifax tomorrow afternoon, a week off for them following their postponed home fixture against Oldham this week. Given our game will now be played at Accrington Stanley's ground, how much of a difference will their break and the neutral venue make? It's a strange one, obviously, it's, I, I can't remember this happening in recent years. Um, it, may, it might have done, but I can't remember off the top of my head. So it's a strange one, listen, we don't, it doesn't change anything for us. We prep the same, it's just the same opposition. Um, will it affect them? I'm not, I'm not sure in terms of the ground, but. It's just another game of football for us. We've got to prep it as we always do. We'll go and try to get three points. And if we do so, obviously that, that pretty much should hopefully secure us where we want to be in that top three. So we'll go there with the ambition to win the game of football. In terms of their break, sometimes sometimes you can the long periods between games can have a negative effect and you can go in a little bit stale, especially when you've been prepping for a, a game that's been cancelled, which obviously don't help. So they would have had their focus on the previous game that's been cancelled and obviously they didn't have to switch straight to us. So it can be a bit of a... You can jumble up your week a little bit and leave a bit of scramble. But listen, they're an unbelievably well organised side. The manager has done unbelievable since going in there. We know they ain't got a massive budget, but constantly competing. And obviously, I believe they're sitting within the playoff place at the minute. So he's doing an unbelievable job, and we know it's such a, such a tough team to play against. Yeah, no goals and a share of the spoils back in September last time we met Halifax. And as you just said, we know how well organised Chris Millington's teams are. This is going to be a very tough test. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I remember the game, it was tightly contested down here. It wasn't a case of. We had an onslaught and they defended the box where it was a very evenly contested game. And I believe they missed a penalty on the day and we missed a couple of late chances with Marvin Steady. So a game that could have went either way and a point was probably fair, but it showed what they're about. They don't concede a lot of goals. They're really well organised and they've got some players at the top end that can win them games. So listen, they, you see teams they've played against and the results they picked up against some of the bigger opposition shows how well organised they are. So we know we've got to keep our guard up and obviously go in well prepared and, and try and get our three points, but we know it's a tough test.
another huge fixture for us with all important points to be gained to secure that second or third spot, as you say. Is it still just a case of taking it one game at a time? It's always the case. Listen, you can't look too far in front. Um, you can look at all the permutations of we need this many points to get it. As you said, we can't get too bogged down and all that. We've got obviously got to concentrate on eight, our next game, and that is Halifax. So we've had a, we had a good couple of days prep, and um, we'll see how we get on when we, when we arrive at Accrington. Finally, Connor, for you personally, just put pen to paper this week and sign a new contract as assistant manager until 2026. Huge congratulations to you. How pleased are you to commit to the club for the next two seasons? Yeah, buzzing. Um, it's not loved my time here. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very thankful to the chairman and to Dean for firstly bringing me here in the first place and obviously when, when John Dreyer left to believe in me and give me that, that opportunity to assistant manager at the, at the age of 30. So I'm 31 now and they've, they've shown their faith once more and obviously I've, um, I've been loyal myself about my decision. I'm, I'm fairly happy here. I enjoy coming to work. I look forward to coming in and I've, I, I can't remember being as happy as this in football for a long, long time. So I'm, I'm so pleased with with obviously my time here and I'm so thankful to the chairman and Dean for their loyalty and their belief in me to, to want to keep me within the group. So delighted, obviously, as I said, I'm ecstatic to, to still be here. Yeah? Connor, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dan.